Live from Austin, where the sights and sounds of crickets raining from the sky lets you know it's going to be a great night. Now, bow your heads. Start celebrating because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Go. I feel like we should have like a like a like a like 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 we 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 should kick our our like other foot like 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 and then the other foot and then we both do a bird and a bird 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 and then and then we uh slap 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 Let's try that again. Here no. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Oh, okay. Welcome. All right. Hi, guys. Hot damn. What a uh, what a week. What a time it's, to be alive. Oh, my God. You and yours. Me and mine. I mean, I'm just going to say I shouldn't have spent thousands of dollars to let everybody go to a Tenacious D concert. Shouldn't have. Yeah. Well, that brings us into our first topic. <laughs> Tenaciously D. It's not that the show wasn't wonderful. It, it's... But set it up. Hold on. He's, he's, he's skipping, he's skipping a couple of steps. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Bring us up to speed. Well, uh, a few months ago, maybe, uh, you, you discovered that uh, the D would be in town yep. here in Austin. Uh, and then... Uh, immediately bought five tickets. Six, I believe. Oh, but you turned out it was turned five. it turned out you to be five. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. And uh, and so that was uh, on Friday. Was that? Yeah, yeah. It was last Friday. It yeah. was at the circuit. It was pretty cool. And, and and you invited who? I mean, it was you and yeah. me, mm -hmm. our wives, mm -hmm. and Bryce. Yep, and that was it. Mm -hmm. Nobody else. Bryce, of course, being the uh, man who carries the vials of our blood in case of an accident. <laughs> That's it. Yes. Yeah. Um, like a shooter from the Mandalay Bay. God! God! <laughs> oh, I thought we were. I thought we were doing jokes. I thought we were doing jokes. That wasn't what I. <laughs> I thought we were doing jokes. So it was. What I thought. Sorry, these are what I call Bryce jokes. It was topical! God Bryce damn it, jokes. no! <laughs> turns Listen to out, the show. Turns out, many more people wanted to come. Yeah. Uh, including my uh, uh, college roommate, Brady. Mm -hmm. and uh, uh, a, 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 a heretofore unknown returning Andrew Heaton. That's correct. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 also, Brett. Oh, yeah. Well, at a certain point, things it, started shifting. It, it, it became the more wives, than, the more wives than five decided people. that they didn't want to go. The wives decided, you know what's not funny anymore are those 25 year old jokes they keep telling. Yeah. <laughs> so the wives yeah, decided the, the to wives have their were own like, night. Hey, remember the music we tolerate because we happen to love the men who like the music and it's all about being a dude and dicks and cum and a bunch of like gross shit mm -hmm. uh how about we don't be the only girls at the stadium wow. that's, that's and correct. instead get wine together and that's, that's what they did yep we wound uh, up filling it in three with wives uh went yeah. And and had a good so time. So Mike TV comes, uh, uh, me and you, Brett, Heaton, mm -hmm. Bryce. Right. Mm -hmm. Squad. A lot of squatting us. Up. Squatting, squatting up. Squatting up. Squatting up. You right. know what? And and big pack of hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> and they were plump. Yep. And they were <laughs> plump. Yep. Ballpark <laughs> Franks. Big time. That's right. Fun Bryce. size. Coney Island. Wow. And so. Uh, Bat. It, it, and also, uh, you know, not just because it was a concert, but this was also like a bit of a, a bit of like a personal thing, Brian. Right? You had a, you did a little surprise. It was a surprise for someone. Uh, oh, that's right. <laughs> Andrew Heaton was there. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. No. Uh, fresh, fresh arriving from Scotland. Yep. Uh, uh, he was. Uh, oh my goodness, Andrew Heaton. <laughs> Too hot. Too hot in America. I'm leaving. America, you're too hot for me. So long, America. This was months ago. 
goes to Scotland. Yeah. Decides, are you ready for me, America? I'm going to book a flight. Uh, you better be ready, America. Hops on the flight. America suddenly drops 20 degrees. That's a fact. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. We've never yeah. had better weather <laughs> yep. than the day that Andrew Heaton arrived in America. And normally, I, 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 I like to be on the side of toughening the old boy up. Now... I don't give a shit. <laughs> Thank like, you. I, I come Thank on you, in. Andrew Heaton. You are a talisman of better weather, and I will revere you like a primitive tribe would something that fell out of an airplane. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, uh, go ahead. So I was teeing up that uh, this was a, a bit of a surprise for Andrew. He just knew that we were uh, all meeting up for drinks, uh, and then yeah, except for. You want to see? Apparently, he doesn't value very much the idea of all of his best friends in Austin meeting him at a certain place no. for oh. drinks. Uh, and maybe mm -hmm. he responds via text, yeah, I don't know, I'm off at this other place, what's up? Well, no, he's meeting other friends that he has not seen in months. Yes. And so he is. He's doing a big tour of the Grand Heat and Reveal. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, not fall, not fall knowing that, 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 that we had a whole thing arranged. He didn't know that he just thought he was meeting us at a bar. And so we all greet him. It's a fun time. And then you reveal that we're going to see the D. Yes. Uh, and and uh, I, uh, yes. We don't need to spend a lot of time. Doesn't Because that's pretty much yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 oh, is there a clip? Yes. Access, we have a clip. And watch Tenacious D. Live <laughs> tonight. Right now. He did not know. He did not know. It was a surprise party for Out him. A gate. Speechless. You're going to be very well taken I'm care of. Very, <laughs> I, I made sure to say that phrase yeah. many times before revealing the fact uh, you'll be Why did very you well taken care of. Why did you say that so many times? I did. I. Is that a song lyric? Justin. Dio has rocked. For a long, long time. Be -do -do -do. Now it's time for him to pass the torch. He, he has songs of wildebeest and, and angels. angels. He has soared on the wings of a demon. It's time to pass the torch. You're too old to rock. No more rocking for you. We're, We're taking you to a home. And we will sing a song about you. And we will be sure that very, you're very, very well taken care of. And anyway, that's the reference. Anyway, yep. yeah. Yep. yeah. You'll give us the secrets that you've learned. Oh, wow. That's the song. Oh, yeah, that's the lyric. Time to go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Yeah. Anyway. The longest way to tell me that it was a song. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know what? <laughs> to be fair, challenge in my, accepted. In, in, in my heart, I thought it was sooner in the song. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. Uh, so we go out to... The Circuit of the Americas. Another one of Bryce's F1 blights. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Another oh, one of Bryce's F1 blights. Yeah. I want a t-shirt. All stomping says, across like, America. <laughs> which is weird, like, Euro trash <laughs> bullshit. Fucking creating things that inconvenience me when I want to do things. <laughs> Bryce's F1 Blights is an amazing t shirt. I wanted to look at <laughs> so They built an F1 track <laughs> in Austin out past the oh, airport. Hot damn. And they have. Uh, uh, is that is that the only concert venue, or are there multiple concert venues? Uh, there are. Turns out Austin. There are a couple there at this. Has, at has a few. No, no, uh, at Circuit of the At Circuit, America. they they have that amphitheater, which is very regularly used, and then I think they make they can make a yeah, big stage no. for like the big F one. The concert. gigantic, they have like a the, dip, the, a yeah, dipshit the, yeah, the, stage. Yeah. yeah, the huge events. So it's a bit of a, a hike to get out there, but <laughs> Brian gets because uh, uh, apparently uh, Austin is the foundation of Austin is essentially twenty five percent bachelorette party. So there are. <laughs> 
there are like gigantic vans on demand in Austin. And so, uh, Brian. Not, not just any kind of van. No. No. Uh, Party vans. Yeah, no. I, I, I discovered a new type of app that I won't give them free publicity for. But basically, Bonnie is like, here's this. And yeah. I'm like, okie doke. And so it says that Hamid is here. And I'm like, great. And so I hop in and I sit alone in a van. As I say, they're, they're, they're coming. <laughs> And meanwhile, a disco ball <laughs> goes around, right. and I sit politely in this van, and I'm like, we're, we're going to a well, concert. Well, we don't know how much business you have to take care of. You could be exchanging visas or something. Like, there, there could be uh, uh, things that need to be stamped or, you know, uh, pleasantries that need to be exchanged based Suddenly. on their custom. Dear listener, if you think that there had been a moment before this that maybe they skipped over where Brian said, I've ordered a party bus and it will be here in 15 minutes. Nope. That did not happen. No. <laughs> nope. Brian, was- Brian just stood up and yelled, it's here. <laughs> And then scampered away. <laughs> we were like, what do you mean? And then we just got text saying, the fuck? Where are you? <laughs> Get in here now, fuckers. Yeah. In the van. <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong, <laughs> Walter. We uh, get a van to the circuit of the Americas, and it's a bit of a haul, but we're there. Totally uh, 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 delighted by this event. We wind up getting through all the security, and we see the D. Brian, what was it like seeing the D? Terrifying. Because if there's ever a spot I'm going to be recognized, (laughs) it's going to be at a Tenacious D concert. And you were recognized not once, but twice. Well, uh, very specifically, too. There was somebody who said, Brian, it's me. And I said, oh, the worst. (laughs) I said, the worst. For the record, (laughs) if you can hear my voice right now and you want to say hi to somebody that has a public persona, (laughs) never, ever say it's me. Unless you have their phone number and you can text them. And even then, if you see them, text them. (laughs) And maybe your name will be in their phone. Probably not. (laughs) But never walk up to somebody and say it's me. Say, do them a kindness and say, hey, blank, it's your name. Yes. That's the best. Let's assume that's what he said. Uh, Unfortunately, the next words were, ah, followed by, "I, I rented half of your duplex. For years. <laughs> Wait, it was a tenant? <laughs> what? Also a friend of a friend. <laughs> so and you I- are an asshole. <laughs> 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 this isn't a fame thing. This is you being a dickhead thing. We connect. Um, then he says, I'm here with my friend so-and-so. He likes blank show that you do. And I'm like, Hey! Why did you name the show? Uh, I literally like don't, only fans? don't don't remember. Okay, yeah, no. Uh, but uh, uh, but uh, oh boy, <laughs> that was uh, awkward. Yeah. Suddenly, I realized that I was on display. Yeah. Since I had bought us pit level general admission tickets, and quite literally, while we were watching Tenacious D. 5,000 people were watching us watching watch Tenacious yeah. D. You know, it's funny that you say that because my, the one, the one experience that I had throughout the show, um, was that, uh, uh, did you see much of the show? Because for a lot of it, you were turned around performing for the six of us. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know my audience. I mean, <laughs> wait, hold on. Uh, Bryce. Yeah. How, what do you mean by that? Like oh, what? God is, damn what it. is Brian? <laughs> god damn what is Brian? Fuck all of you. Fuck everything. Fuck. What does that look like? Paint a mental picture god for the audience. It. Paint a picture. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I gotta. I have to be turned around first off. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So he's facing. Okay. Yep. 
He's facing them. Keep going. And he's and he's singing to the song. He's singing to the song perfectly. Every word. That, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Yep. Uh, and every, and it, I wasn't like I was spending a lot of time looking at Brian during the show, but every time I noticed him in the crowd, he was turned back to the stage. I mean, <laughs> it's, to be fair, I had seen everything they were doing a lot, and so I I wanted to be present with you guys. You seven, six other people. <laughs> to be it? fair, Brian did pay for all the tickets. <laughs> Well, yeah, we were there on his dime and he can spend his money however he wants. Absolutely. And he wanted to spend his money doing a dance while the <laughs> HSD D was happening. Uh, understandable. Understandable. I just didn't know. If... I don't know how I feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to hear the chant that you led? So let Let's talk about that pregnant moment where it's like, we all know there's going to be an encore and we all know yeah. there's going to be a quiet moment where somebody is going to say something and hopefully it'll spread like an infection and everybody will chant it. Uh, but you in the dead of night in this fucking Euro car boondock <laughs> at the ass end of Austin. <laughs> With only you and the moon, scream what? More D. Because that sounds like dick, right? More, more dick. More D. Right? More yeah. D. Sure. Yeah. Oh, it takes hold, and I feel it spread all around me. And 10,000 people are chanting, In more D. More D. More D. And uh, reluctantly, the D came back and played <laughs> three more songs. It was and it great. was fucking amazing great show mm -hmm. uh it's about the second of those three encore songs that a chill <laughs> runs up my spine go on so i'm like wait a minute when we walked in amongst all the unnecessary lines and gates and roller coasters race cars that are on the premises of this particular venue the one thing i didn't see was a huge pre-populated line for ride shares the primary way that a bunch of drunk high people would be getting back to wherever they came from and so I immediately started on my phone trying to book an Uber. This is while I'm leading 10,000 people in a chant that says more D, more D, that I'm up. summons, mm -hmm. despite everything they want to do, they're tired, they're done with their show. Yeah. We are forcing them to do more performing for us. Yep. And I'm the one, the union leader, yep. who causes it to happen, and you're booking your exit. For reasons that I won't disclose, I was paranoid. <laughs> yep. So I say, all right, I'm going to book an Uber. I tried to book an Uber. The motherfucker cancels on me. Try to book another Uber. Motherfucker cancels on me. Mm. The D finishes. And all of a sudden, everybody starts making their way. And I'm like, okay, we're fucked. Because <laughs> also, we're also all drunk and high. Some of us high. <laughs> all I mean, of us drunk. At, at least one of those two. Yeah. And we're not a unit. <laughs> we are a <laughs> diffuse group of... Uh, 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 right. uh, 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 molecules that are rapidly spreading mm -hmm. like all hither and yon and so I'm like well fuck it I keep trying to book new Ubers nothing 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 everybody else scatters and I find myself <laughs> alone and I look to my left who do I see Bryce oh. Oh. and I'm like oh shit Bryce everybody else was in the van yeah Bryce drove himself yes and i'm like you're driving me home <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty it was pretty much that <laughs> so uh in the middle of your being paranoid 
dash deed. Uh, 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 nice. Bryce was your savior. Uh, yes. As everybody was scattering to the winds, I find myself near Bryce. Bryce is the only one who drove. Everybody else took the party van. And so uh, I'm like, cool. I can at least get back. Now, if I were to go back in time, <laughs> what I wish I would have done was have the capacity to call other people to say, come meet us somewhere in this field. <laughs> right. <laughs> and we're going to get back to Bryce's car somewhere else in this field. I mean, th th but I don't think that that was going to be physically possible. And so Bryce and I sally forth to his car. V very brave. Very brave of you to, to abandon not, to not everybody else. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just to be clear, the direction we got was, you fuckers are on your own. <laughs> I I remember very little of that night. <laughs> <laughs> so Bryce and I start trucking back, and let me just say this. Mm. It's an absolute nightmare, but I assume you guys have your own stories. Oh, no. Back. I mean, I, I, our ride home was a fucking treat. Began with me calling the same dude who took the party bus to bring us out there mm -hmm. and have him accept the call. And then, you know, eh, five minutes later, abandoned it. Mm. And so I turned, I looked around, I looked left, I looked right, and I saw Brett. Yep. <laughs> and I said, Brett, I brought us here and I paid for everything. Yeah, that's exactly what he said. That's exactly what he said. <laughs> and I was so like, so he basically just said, "It's your job." Pretty much. Pretty there's, much. There's a nice way to get that across. You did earn that favor, but the ang the, the okay. It was right. even more than that because he said. I'm done being the adult. Yes. <laughs> and I said, as I'm trying to get on my phone, okay. I got this. I got and this. And you there did the best app on the world. Yes. It just so happened to be Lyft. <laughs> Everything else was not working. So but was the there a ride share area? <laughs> there Sure. Technically. There, there yeah. was one on the way that we walked back, and then it looked like there was one for party buses up by the front. Yes. Gotcha. Not like a mullet. So you guys right. are are trying to did you get somebody to drive all the way in? Yes. Wow. Uh 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 <laughs> Hey, oh. uh, re uh, real quick, Justin, uh, yeah. will you do an impression of, uh, I guess we'll start with an Uber driver. Mm -hmm. Wait, what does an Uber driver sound like? Yeah. Name? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm Brian. Cool. Okay. All right. Now, now I Can want you to you buckle your seatbelt? <laughs> now I want you to do an impression. Nice weather. <laughs> <laughs> now a Lyft driver. Temperature okay? <laughs> yes. Sorry. Yeah. Wow. I'm, I'm, no, I'm butting in where you don't want me to. That's yeah. my impression of an Uber oh, driver. No, that's, that's fine. It's that's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I love this. Uh, <clears throat> Justin. A Lyft driver. You want a Lyft driver? Yep. Yep. Name? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can you buckle your seatbelt? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Is the temperature okay? <laughs> yep. Okay. Nailed it. Nailed it. Uh, Justin, yeah. will you do your impression of a taxi driver? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Where? I don't go there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Brett, would it be fair to say that, like, the world's worst... Reese's peanut butter cup. Somebody mixed our taxi driver energy with our Lyft driver. Yeah, I, I would definitely agree with that. Uh, Though, what? To be fair. Hawk to? To be fair to know. <laughs> Where are you going? going? Yes. <laughs> I don't go there. Right. Uh, Is the temperature okay? I don't care. <laughs> God That's... damn it. Uh, uh, okay. You were up there being way too Fucking friendly. Let me let me just go me go think. go go go. You go you go. I go for a little bit. Yeah. So uh, it ended up I gathered up uh, Brian and his friend Brady, 
Yep. And Doug just how so my buddy Doug. Oh, my nice. best friend Doug just so happened to be there Great. too. So we all four get people in one car. Yep. Way and better than two people escaping by themselves. Exactly. And so we stayed together as best as we can. Uh Brag about I it. became the adult. I called the Lyft driver. 30 minutes it was it took to get there, which is knowing the traffic that was there. Not terrible. Totally, totally. Yeah. So we go. Brian, Brian's a little bit cranky with me because <laughs> people kept driving up going, you need a lift? And and I'm like, no, we're waiting for the guy. I'm like, motherfucker, and, just give him a hundred bucks. Right. Oh, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a classic Brian. <laughs> like, 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 I'm constantly but saying. But you were done being the adult. And that's I correct. Said yeah. as Children much, don't have a hundred dollars to bribe an Uber. <laughs> yes. Correct. So, uh, uh, 30 minutes later, yeah. guy shows up. Uh he was a. I can't. Um, uh, I'm oh sorry my to god! Pause here. I it's can't imagine. I had never heard this. <laughs> Brian had to be fucking dying. <laughs> like, there's nothing that Brian hates more than waiting. There's yeah. nothing that yeah. Brian loves more than getting to the front of the line. Yes. And at this stage of his life, there's nothing on earth that Brian loves more than just fumbling money at somebody yeah. and saying, <laughs> "Money solve." Money, money solved for me? me? Money? Money? For me? Money? Money for me to do what what Brian wants. Brian Brian want money? Money. But you make what Brian want money? Yes. He he and he kept turning to me and I kept saying, I'm adult, you not. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You've experienced the greatest level of restraint that Brian has ever I'm held. So impressed. Like oh I'm sure that he has watched his own children shit on the floor, and he has had less restraint than what he had with you, not letting him pay a hundred dollars yes. to fucking get somebody else's Uber. I just kept seeing all of these people who are younger than me walking to their cars, and I'm just like. I can fit in your car. Yeah, I have the paper money. money. <laughs> Brian, I would also but like Brian that. want. At but Brian way. want Brian money. <laughs> Brian money for Brian want. Yes. No, no. Brett say no. Brett say no to Brian. But Brian money. Brian what? Brian, Brian money. Brett no, no. no. But Brian money for Brett. I'm lost. no. I'm lawful good. That's the problem. I'm yeah, just lawful chaotic, good. Chaotic, chaotic, neutral. So, our, <laughs> so our, our Lyft driver arrived, Robert, of white hair. Shitty fucking, name. I hate that you remember his fucking name. Yep. He needs to be erased from of the universe. This hair. fucker who thinks he's on AM radio and has a platform he and decides to do his podcast to us. And the first fucking thing this fucking motherfucker <laughs> says is they're like, I don't like what? Tenacious D. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh my god. <laughs> with, his, with his leather top hat on. God. Oh god, like, no. no. He's wearing a costume yes. on oh, top of no. that. Yes. <laughs> Jesus so, Christ. Let me, let me, there's and then he goes I, into I, detail I, about what he doesn't like about Jack Black's comedy right. and I'm like, and I'm like, is I it? steer him up. I steer him hey. off because all I'm thinking of doing <laughs> is get us from this point to that point. You guys talk in the back. I will take care of this shit. There right? is. All right. There is an <laughs> element of this that is so fucking tragic because if it begins with a dude with white hair and a leather top hat saying, I don't like Tenacious D, yeah. what you have to understand, dear listener, is what lies ahead of them is 40 minutes of driving. <laughs> <laughs> 40 minutes for a 15 minute drive because it is an absolute shit show to yep. get out. Yep. Yep. So, so just a few things to, you know, I tried to keep it between he and I, once I realized that was going on, uh, he was it, more it, interested it, it really in was, about it really was going on. Players was the, the thing that he liked. And then, then he got, Wait, to, he wants to talk about one it, child guitar players. What? Well, yeah, that's what certainly a normal thing that certainly <laughs> wouldn't put you on a watch list. Totally normal. He, uh, he, he used to uh, be concert security. Okay. That, Boy. That was great. His boss. We are, we, are, we are really filling out a top 10 list of <laughs> shit I don't care about. <laughs> his boss had three uh, 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 lightning bolts on his neck. Oh. Number for three. <laughs> reason, for some reason, only did security for white band. Number two. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> and then he proceeds to start telling me about his friends who got hooked on drugs and some of them OD'd and died. No number one. <laughs> by, by the Shit way, uh, I don't care about <laughs> all of this. I do not hear because I am fighting out the phone numbers of everybody in the back seats with me to text. This is a highly unpleasant drive. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, whose phone number didn't you have? Mine, Doug's. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he sure as hell didn't say any of that shit to me. Oh no, no, no. like, like I, I watch you, like, like, Take like, the like bullet, man. Yep, yep. No, no, you, no, were, no. you, you were the you, enemy. You were jazz tapping you were because you were talking to him. Well, I was just trying to keep it. Yeah, no, like, I was problem. trying to deflect. Yeah, I knew for sure the worst thing that could happen was me talking. Yes, and so and, and, and by the way, the second worst you thing were talking is you getting texted by Brian and then you saying, "What, Brian? What are we not talking about?" <laughs> Actually, uh, that that that's why you didn't get it taken. Yeah, uh, you know what? A hundred percent that. So we made it all the way back to the place where our cars were. Yeah, we Eaton's all got place, out. Right, I I. You ran away. I did not run away. Oh my God! Are because, you kidding me? Because you you pulled off your pants and you away, ran Brian away. Turned to me and he goes, "I think we've met the first one star review for Lyft." <laughs> I swear. Okay. By the way, the fuck did you review him? I gave him a three. <sighs> Fucking. But and a few of your favorite child guitar players. Yeah. <laughs> I told him that. And in the end, I said. You know, maybe you should learn how to read the room, is what I said. Oh, did, maybe you should wait, learn that next time, learn how to wait, read the room. Is is that for reals? You, that is you actually, absolutely for real. Hey. They don't read those comments. I know, but because <laughs> it was like, you, because for me, he got us from there to there safely. Very slowly. The time, the he, also, he also caused your friend Doug to bang his fucking head on the top of the fucking roof because there he just a hit a bump and then we didn't, didn't get see it didn't give a rat's ass we too busy tipping his top hat yep. to whoever i, I gave what him a very fuck? long hug and explaining we why was he was he the driving what? explaining his beef to uh, <laughs> uh, uh, about jack black is what i was <laughs> and uh yeah so still angry but but yeah i <laughs> and so then i ran away so there you go and then you came over to my house and we sang karaoke till two. Well, in the first I hid for an hour because. Well, like, for the sake of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, yeah. Then, <laughs> we, then we came over and sang karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking two a.m., three a.m. mornings. Jesus Christ! I don't. What, know, I don't know what, how many what I have. To our dumb human bodies. I don't know how that many I have in them. If if there were a spoiler alert that came in right now and said thirteen more, <laughs> I'd be like. Fair number. <laughs> I'll I feel like what when I hit thirteen, I will either not do another one, and on the fourteenth, I drop dead <laughs> because yeah. I don't. It was a full day and a half for me to get back into, uh, uh, up to speed. Okay, well, okay. Things we won't explore on the show, but I will disclose is it turns out <laughs> that, that when your college roommate comes out, it turns out that. It's, the Tenacious D concert is not the end of the performance. And instead, the whole next day, you end up hanging out with him. And then Andrew Heaton says, Hi, I'd like to bring my dog over. You want me to introduce our dogs? And mm -hmm. I say, Okay. And so basically, so you, fucking, you, you, I, you are a new good friend. Three days. Yes. You are not a good friend. You're a great friend. Yeah. You are a friend for whom buys all yeah. those tickets to Tenacious D. You yes. are a friend for whom takes time to have your old college friend uh, be welcomed, and you are a friend for whom welcomes your friend back from Europe. You, my friend, are a great friend. Oh, You want to know how I afford it? How? Patreon.com <laughs> slash great night. If you want me to keep on spending money on my friends, head on over to patreon.com slash great night. I think you get something over there. <laughs> yeah, you get a bonus episode each and every Thursday. And boy, howdy, are they great. New characters are introduced, like Drunk Lando. <laughs> <laughs> Drunk Lando. Drunk Lando <laughs> was a big hit, and you won't ever hear him because it's really a one-note joke. 
<laughs> unless you pay for it. We don't want oh. no scrubs. Scrub our uh, <laughs> listener that can't get no drunk Lando from me. <laughs> Hanging out the passenger side of their best friend's <laughs> podcast app, <laughs> trying to get me to do drunk Lando at you. Patreon.com. It was so good. <laughs> slash great night. Uh, Bryce, you have a game for us? <laughs> we didn't get to Hitler. Oh, <laughs> we, we know what? Hold you on. Know what? No, 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 no. This is going to be a new thing. Oh, yeah. Bryce, yeah. Yeah. save the topics we don't do what? for the Thursday episode. Okay. Just save them so we can talk about them on the Thursday episode. Okay. So then we're, there we go. We're so gonna, now okay. we're linger longer. <laughs> you want to see Hitler? Yeah, see Hitler. Right. Show Brian Hitler. Oh, yeah, Hitler. that's right. Did you see Hitler? Right. Yeah. No, Hitler's great. <laughs> Anyway. Would it, is it fucked Whoops. up to say I'd watch Hitler's porn? I if the watch, Hitler's, if the I Hitler's were fucking, I'd watch Hitler, it. This Hitler? This one? Yeah. I mean, no, would you not? That's weird. Yeah. He's, They're attractive. I the would Hitlers? meet the Hitler's. I would Hitler's. love to Audio watch. listeners, the Hitler's are not Ava Braun and Adolf. <laughs> <laughs> they are uh, a, a, an adorable couple. One, uh, a, a real a strapping white man <laughs> and another man, a very, uh, a, a beautiful woman of a more, uh, uh, Hispanic complexion. Mm. And, uh, they went viral. Why Bryce? Uh, they went viral. Oh, uh, uh, they went viral, uh, a couple of weeks <laughs> ago. Just kidding. <laughs> Listen on the Patreon. <laughs> Conversion. <laughs> That's what we want. Like, Paying customers. Right. Bryce, what's the fucking gig? <laughs> I don't give a shit about the Hitlers. I, I was teasing them so they get their wallets out. <laughs> Enter those digits. Because <laughs> we're talking all about the Hitlers on the Thursday. <laughs> oh, we're going deep. Oh. Uh, they get a Bunker to deep, says the audience. <laughs> Bunker <Yeah>. deep. <laughs> I gotta give a, a shout out right here at the top of the sh at the top of the game. Thank you to Tom Tom four four six eight who sent this in. This is a game I'm calling Oscars or Noscars. Hey, hit the Noscars. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a movie, and you're gonna have to tell me if it won an Oscar or if it won a Razzie, the uh, the infamous internet awards given away given away for uh, some of the worst movies. What, of all. Wasn't there one movie that like won both? Yeah, probably. Probably a few of them. Probably multiple. Oh. I bet I bet it's the end of this game. <laughs> <laughs> that would be very lazy. That would be a very lazy way to end the game. Don't worry, I have other hells for you. There are other there are other circles of hell, don't worry. Uh, so I'm going to give you a name. Uh, you tell me if it's an Oscar or a Razzie. Everybody will get their own question, so uh, 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 it'll be uh, everyone on their own. We've got a bunch of them here. Brett, do you mind keeping score for me? I do not mind at all. All right. Do you want to play? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, there we go. Easy game, right? Yes. Yep. All right. We're, uh, we're going to start with you, Justin, on this one. Your movie is Alice in Wonderland 2010. Did this win an Oscar or a Razzie? So let me let me say out front that I assume that a lot of the movies for which would be in this Venn diagram of what you might think have probably won technical awards. Right. Like costuming, uh, sound, VFX, sound, that kind of stuff. I would assume that Alice in Wonderland probably won an Oscar, at least for costuming or VFX. So, yes, I will say they won an Oscar. It was uh, Johnny Depp, Helen Bonner. Bonner Carter. <laughs> Carter. Barner Carter. Barner Carter. <laughs> Barner. Yeah. Uh, uh, That's Jamie's cousin. Yeah. Who is the director? I love when she was married to Tim Burner. <laughs> Tim Burton, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Tim Burner, 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 Burner. Get over here, Barner Carter. <laughs> she, 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 my trophy wife. Is it an Oscar or a Razzie? No one knows. <laughs> I directed the Birdman. <laughs> oh my God, the Birdman. Um, I'm, I'm okay. Man, I remember when I was directing the, the Hellas Herdman. <laughs> That was great. Man, I'll tell you what. Here's some shit that uh, uh, 
<laughs> What's it? Bert Mern told me on when I was directing him back when he was just Myrtle Juice. <laughs> Oh, no. All right. <laughs> anyway, right. I'm on the set of Willy Worker. <laughs> oh my God! And Johnny Derp says to me, <laughs> Johnny Derp, Irma Lerd. He says, "Man, Helen of Burnham Carter's got a hell of a nurse." <laughs> <laughs> and I said, "Hell yeah, man! Hell yeah!" <laughs> Johnny Derp is my new favorite character. <laughs> Oh, right. okay. So, All Justin. Johnny right. uh, <laughs> <laughs> So, Justin, you said Alice in Wonderland from 2010 won an Oscar. I we almost directed Superman. <laughs> <laughs> we you looking... heard about that? <sighs> they used my Superman just in the new breathe, Flash. Breathe. <laughs> okay. All right. It was an Oscar. That's a point hey! for Justin. Hey! It won the best costume design and best art direction. Technical. All right, uh, Brian, we're going to you now. Ready. <laughs> Clearly. The movie is Dolomite is my name. Oh. That is the... Eddie uh, Murphy. Yeah, vehicle where, where, where it seemed to be a pretty authentic uh, recreation of the uh, black exploitation phenomenon. Yep. Uh, I think that one... There's no way it won a Razzie. Based on the chatter that I had heard. Hey, did, you, did you see the movie? Nope. Really good. You know what? I just received more chatter. <laughs> Turns out the movie's really good. Wesley Which... Snipes was fucking great. Hmm? I don't know. I don't know if he, he was, was in he it. Was, yeah. He was. was he, he was kill, in it. Was he killing vampires? He was not Blade. Wait. <laughs> Blade. This was not a was, sequel to was, Blade. Was, Although, was, fuck, if it was. Was he was he evading taxes? <laughs> was he passenger 47? Was he always betting on black? <laughs> I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this was an Oscar winner. Alright, your answer of oh. Oscar is Dolomite is my blade. <laughs> Incorrect. Oh. What the fuck? This is a this uh, okay. This is a tricky one. I'm gonna tell you we don't have a million of these, but there's another one in here. This is a Razzie Redeemer Award. They gave Eddie Murphy an award because he had won Razzies in the past, and his performance in Dolomite my, was my name uh, is so good that they gave him the one good Razzie. I, th I think it was Sandra Bullock who accepted both a Razzie and an Oscar the same year. Mm-hmm. I Probably. think that might be the end of this game. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I, you know what? I'm going to write this down and I'm going to put it in an envelope <laughs> right over here. I'll tell you what, every mentalist would have a better act. <laughs> if they began by saying 42, Asia, blue. Anyway, my name's Brian Brushwood and I'm going to be doing some fun tricks for you. <laughs> All right. <sighs> All right. That's no point to Brian. Justin, we're going to you on this one. It's actually. Yeah. <laughs> and then you just bully the people <laughs> into. Yeah, you just yeah, bully yeah, the people yeah, into yeah, those yeah, answers. Yeah, yeah. You say it in the beginning and then yeah. just bully the <laughs> shit out of them. And don't they really? say. That was the number. It wasn't a more sensible number. <laughs> like. <laughs> yep. You Two know, digits. Yeah. Both odd. Not the same. And it wasn't 37. Yeah. Hmm. Racist. That's racist. That's a racist number. You're not aware that's a racist number? I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say. I would go with it. I mean, number. maybe 35, but Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. Not 37. That's actually. All right. Our next, our next write, magic parody write, bit. Write it down. <laughs> <laughs> the the gaslighting bullying mentalist. <laughs> that's, that's his name. Please welcome the gaslighting bullying mentalist, <laughs> Justin Robert Young. Zebra. <laughs> Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> Five. <laughs> <laughs> name a director. Name any director. You can pick any director of any movie. 
All right. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's like it's there's no question marks in his script. It's all this is your car. <laughs> it's a statement, not a question. All right, Justin, we're going to you now. The movie. Yeah. Is it an Oscar or an Oscar? Elvis. Elvis. Did that win an Oscar or a Razzie? Ooh, a recent one. I believe. Sorry, was was there a previous one? Well, all the other ones that we've the questions we have been about things that weren't the most Old recent. Things. Oscar, got it, got it, yeah. got it. I, I I thought there was a previous movie called Elvis. There might have been. It was about a. <laughs> gonna stop talking. <laughs> Sure, you don't want to follow through. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> it was a spec script about a chimpanzee who drove a limo. <laughs> His name was Elvis. <laughs> it starred Clint Eastwood's brother. The movie was a spec script. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know. That, that was what. <laughs> We have fun. <laughs> we have fun. Uh. Justin, tell me about Elvis. Did it win an Oscar or an Oscar? Can you tell me if it's the most recent one? Uh, <laughs> yes. It, it, there was no previous one. Uh, there was a television film in 1979. This is not it. There were TV programs. That, that this, this is not it. This is the 2022 film by Baz Luhrmann. By Baz Luhrmann. Did you see the movie, Elvis? Oh, yeah. No, you're no. <laughs> not, I'm not asking. I'm legitimately asking no, you a question. No, no, I'm yeah. not. I'm, <laughs> do you know that? I'm trying to be supportive. Do you, know, yeah. do, do you know? Number one, you need to see the movie. Okay. It is batshit insane. Uh, I, I, and I, I, I hear it's quite good. Elvis solves race while a remix of uh, Ain't Nothing But a Hound Dog featuring Doja Cat plays. So, uh,. He solves race how? Yeah. Elvis style, baby. <laughs> CCB. <laughs> Taking like, care of business. Like, and by like, business, I mean racism. Uh, Racial hero. <laughs> ha! Get at you. Come here, racist. Pa! Hitting you again. <laughs> I'm Austin I, Butler. I was a Manson member. Now I'm Elvis. And I kept talking like Elvis. <laughs> forever. Ha! I feel unequipped. To continue this conversation. Me too. <laughs> ha! Ha! All right. Well, here's a here's a question for you, Justin. Did it win an Oscar or yes. not? Yes. Yes, it won an Oscar. All right. Costumes. And for costumes. Yeah. Whoa! Double down. Yep. We were looking for an Oscar. Damn. That was a Razzie for worst supporting actor for Tom Hanks. Worst screen combo between Tom Mix and his latex laden face and accent. So it was an insane accent. But then you go back and watch actual interviews with Colonel Parker. And that and is, it's like, what the fuck else do you want an insane Dutchman Carney to sound like? He sounded like a fucking insane Dutchman Carney. So did you get a point? Or no, no? I that's no point. Failed. That oh, is incorrect failed. for Justin. I fell on my face, Brian. I'm a failure. I'm a God goddamn empty husk. I've been ripped apart of all my Fuck dignity, you. and here I am, standing naked. Mother my shriveled dick to the breeze. There. He's over there switching from camera to camera. I know. Deciding the rule. Probably dreaming about his <laughs> weird fucking cars. <laughs> Zoom, they say in his head. I wonder what city's traffic I'm going to ruin next. Yes. Zoom. <laughs> Me and the rest of Gen Z is going to get into this weird fucking niche bullshit for no reason. Yeah. Zoom. But enough about Annalisa. Let's talk about Bryce. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number four here. Let's uh, go to you, Brian, for your second question. The film. The Chub Chubs. Did it win an Oscar or was it an Oscar? We the all Chub remember Chubs. where we were when the Chub Chubs were released. Mm -hmm. It was a national. I Meet remember the Chub Chubs. I remember exactly where I was. I was on the forest moon of Endor. <laughs> and okay. the new Death Star, the second one, had just exploded. And, and you were singing. Everybody was singing Chub Chub. What? Were you there too? Jump, jump. 
what? You know, I read chop 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 pizza. Jump, jump. <laughs> <laughs> hey, to be honest, I'm a bit surprised you just put your foot in that trap. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, uh, uh, it's a Razzie. Razzie. You're gonna say the no, chop chops no, is a Razzie? No, no, no. He's trying to fuck you. Really? Yeah, because this is exactly the thing. He's going to go with the thing that you don't know, and then you're going to realize that it was like a, 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 a best short foreign short film or some shit like that. I mean, you can do whatever you want. I would go Oscar. I would go Oscar. I don't get to, I don't get to answer it, so I would go Oscar. Do, do I get a phone a friend? Uh, not in this round, no. In the next round, in the next round, you'll get a hint. But not in this round. Brett, what should I say? Uh, I'm not part of this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Smart want no part move, of this, my man. Friend. Don't uh, put that I'm, on I'm, me. I'm, 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 I'm going to stick to Razzie, and I know it's a trap. That's fine. A trap much like those two logs that crashed the ATST in the middle of the Battle of Endor. I'm sorry, I've never watched Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ryan, your answer about the Chub Chubs. You said it was a Razzie. We were looking for... It won an Oscar for the best animated short. You were right. It, uh, not foreign, necessarily, because I don't think they give away foreign awards at See, Oscar. This is the kind of bullshit. I can smell it. Mm -hmm. I was just, it I was smell actually. Smell it chub chubbing. Chub chub. Around the corner. A do we do be dub dub. After four questions, Brett, what is the score? Let's the, the score, score right now. PX3 for sure. Everybody now, politics. <laughs> it's the best thing to talk about. After four rounds. A doobie doob doob doobie doo, doo, doo A chubby chubby chub chub chub. We won an Oscar. All right. Is Brian has no points, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and Justin has one point. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Fair, fair enough. Uh, that sounds right. All right, we're going to go to our second round here. This is, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw a little <laughs> twist at you. <laughs> I'm going to throw a little twist at you. Go, twist I've, it up. I have taken the names of movies, and I have shuffled up all the letters. So you're going to have to unscramble. <laughs> you're going to have to unscramble the name of the movie uh, and then tell me if it won an Oscar or oh. was an Oscar. Because this is easy enough. Yeah. We have one point between us. We're going to complicate it. That's right. Justin, yep. Justin, I need you to repeat after me. Yeah. Chub, chub. <laughs> I... I don't understand the question, and I won't respond to it. Go ahead, Bryce. <laughs> All right, Justin, you're the first one up. The shuffled movie name is Lion Greg. Yeah. <sighs> Classic. <laughs> Good old Lion Greg. I can give you a yes, description of yes, the movie. Yes, All the heads. All of them. <laughs> Empty the drawer. <laughs> With his wife's disappearance having become the focus of an intense media circus, a man sees the spotlight turn on him when he suspected that he may not be innocent. No, it's the lady whose book was on the thing when we did yes, that Diamond Club. Yes, of course Club. it is. Yes, it is. Gone Girl. Oh. It's Gone Girl. Uh, and Gone Girl would, won an Oscar. It yes. would have been funnier if you didn't. Immediately know it? Yeah. Yeah. Chub, chub. Stop it. <laughs> Go. <laughs> you were correct that it was Gone Girl. Let's see if your answer, uh, what did you say, Oscar? Yeah. <laughs> Incorrect! Oh! But it was a Razzie Redeemer. So that was a good one because of Ben Affleck All right. was good. Uh, 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 That's the last one I, we're not doing. Can I do a PSA? Uh, uh, bring, me, bring me full camera here. Yeah. Hi. It's me, Justin Robert Young. Are you or someone you know <laughs> thinking about making a game for our show? <laughs> First, let me say thank you. You're a listener and a supporter, and without you, we would be nothing. I'd be shriveled on the side of the road, begging for somebody to laugh at me, and nobody would do it, and I would die pissing myself. <laughs> However, if you are thinking about making a game, please understand this. The game is mostly designed for Brian and I to have a good time. I mean, Don't I... add unnecessary. Shut up. <laughs> Don't add unnecessary bullshit that makes it weirder. Yes, I'm rewarding you by doing extra things for your game. 
don't use this as an example to make things. I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> you know, <laughs> chub chub. You know what's so funny? <laughs> I did the scrambled name bit. The scrambled name oh, bit is no! me. <laughs> what the fuck, Bryce? Where? What's next? You're going to tell us you don't like right, Jack no, Black? No, no, no. No, no, no. What no fucking, fuck? uh, uh, face up. Here we go. <laughs> Hi. Are you Bryce? <laughs> yes, I ain't. That's me. Fuck Help. you. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, okay. Mess loud and clear. All right. <laughs> Brian, we're going to go to your first word shuffle. Finally, for the first time. The movie. Yeah, there goes this week's nickel. <laughs> K-Hers. <laughs> K-Hers. Oh. Oh. Uh, first of all, the movie is Shrek, and it won a Technical Achievement Award and Oscar. It is a Shrek. You said it was an Oscar. We were looking for... An Oscar! Yay! That's a point. Who's great? Somebody once you, oh told no, me to honor oh, a great artist. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Rest in peace to a real one. Fucked with you. <laughs> Thought I was going to be mean. I was nice. Yeah. Gotcha. A little bit mean. What do you mean mean? You, you kind of honor a great, and then I gave him a thumbs up. The audio listeners didn't hear no, that. No, no, no. But I but mean, I gave him a thumbs up to heaven. I mean, there. Let me let me just say, I'm not saying you were trying to be mean. I'm just going to say that there was a lot of meaning in what you said. Meaning, like a good meaning. I mean, if like if, like if, like it, it if, was to it, be it meant mean something. was a verb. Yeah, nailed it. N to be mean meant. Mean. He meant something to me. Mean. Smash did a mouth. Very meant good something job to me. of being mean. Lots of meaning. I yes. <clears throat> I'm. I I think we're green. You might as well be walking on the sun. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Who needs Abbott and Costello? This is the <laughs> this is the new who's on first. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, that was a point to Brian. <laughs> For real. <laughs> let's see an update on the scores. Bre <laughs> oh, let's see. We both have one point. It, it seems that now Brian has a point. <laughs> That's right. And Justin is always rocking with his points. Yeah, oh, with his one. me. I'm rocking him. One to one. <sighs> All right. All tied up. There we go. Justin, I'm going to go to you next. Yeah. Your movie with the scrambled title, Corky Four. Yeah. Come on, man. This one's awesome. Rocky Four. <laughs> and I think this is a classic fuck you, flippity do. That's an Oscar. Wait, probably for best song or some bullshit. You think that Rocky Four, the one in which Rocky Balboa solves the Cold Communism. War yeah. by punching another man in the face. You can change. And, says, and we can change. <laughs> and we're going to solve communism forever. Right? Okay. I'm Rocky. To be honest? In the year of our Lord 2023, I'm definitely going to be still making movies fucking HGH <laughs> out of my mind. All right, all right. Literally opening this weekend. All right. We, 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 let, let's the Expendables 4. God damn it. Starring 50 Cent. What? <laughs> what a guess. Fucking for real? Wow. He looked fat at the Super Bowl. <laughs> How was he in the movie with a bunch of steroid guys? I don't know, but I'm so best as Stallone. Pow! Drago! I'm gonna be so famous for punching you, I'm gonna be making this terrible fucking movie! Uh, you know what? I, I... thought you had a bad back! Yeah, it's better now! <laughs> <laughs> and my axe. <laughs> That's. Hey, Jason Statham! You wanna punch somebody? I think I do, mate. <laughs> All right, Brian, we're looking for your answer here. <laughs> Corky Four, is that an Oscar or an Oscar? <laughs> I didn't know that both of us got to answer. <laughs> no, we don't get the Oh, no, I'm sorry, Justin. Uh, yeah. What was He's your answer? I said, yes, now. Oscar. <laughs> he said Oscar, all right. And then oh. I filled in with a bunch oh, of God damn shit. it. I just I read God damn it. 
Uh, Justin, you were right that it was Rocky IV, and you were wrong. It was a Razzie. Oh, oh no. For Justin, worst actor. what have you done? Worst supporting actress. You're this worst wait, 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 Who won it? Who won it? Oh, oh Brigitte Nielsen. And worst oh, musical dear. score. Many, many. Oh, God. What are you going to do it. with your life? Like, it's fucked up. Hold on. Did Brigitte Nielsen die? Uh, uh, or is she Bri alive? Uh, Bridget Nielsen? Yeah. What do you, yeah, yeah, you yeah. mean? The Mandalay Bay guy? Jesus. What okay, you were doing fuck? the do 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 Christ, why would you right, bring that right. up? Wow. That's Good. fucked Just, up. You asked him Justin, real quick, let's take a knee and talk about Bryce. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Rice is insensitive, <laughs> and a lot of the message boards are starting to—they're starting to gather an anti-Bryce position. <laughs> I mean, that's certainly what I've heard from you. The message boards, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go further with this bit because Bryce is way more in touch with our audience <laughs> than we are. <laughs> Let's just agree. And so I don't want to start a thing that 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 says anything other than "Holy shit, my thighs look fucking awesome." <laughs> Wait, I Damn! We can't I'm like agree. a fitness model. <laughs> <laughs> look at that definition. Oh, look at that hair. God damn! I think we can't agree. Holy fuck! Uh, you I'm know so what? glad. Hey, hey, Bryce. Next, next question. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go to you, Brian, for this one. Uh oh. <laughs> uh. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's always what you want to hear. Like, it's coming at you now. Oh, hold, hold, hold on. on. <laughs> your your shuffled me... movie is Hater Daft Thorpe G3. <laughs> you know, he... these were so easy. <laughs> I'm glad we introduced the extra layer of complexity. Hater Daft Thorpe G3. I will tell you, the three is in the right place. Well, thank God. Do you have any other clues? I was really worried that it was called Three Hater Daft Thorpe. Oh, I think um, I, I have a synopsis. No, that's right. I can give you that. Okay, okay. good. Uh, we follow Michael Corleone, now in his 60s, as he seeks uh, to free his family right. from crime and find a suitable successor to his The Godfather fire. 3 and... Uh, Godfather I, Part 3. I, I really, really hope it won no Oscars. Really? Yeah, that's right. I hate the mafia. Come at me, Mop. Uh, you know what? Those are words I should I'm never say. I'm stupid. I'm smart. <laughs> Wait, was that two? Oh, that was two. That wasn't three. Three was the one with Sofia Coppola. No, yep. sorry. I'm, I'm busy thinking about whether or not I should say, come at me at the Mafia. <laughs> Probably shouldn't. Oh, go, Why not? Go back to Las Vegas. Uh, Why wouldn't you say it? What? I mean, you scared? Yeah. You scared to say it? Is there something you know you scared? that I don't huh? know? Why, what do you think? This I... thing of ours, you know, hey. it's a good thing. We're just having a good time. Yeah. You know, sometimes you get together, you make a game, Bryce overcomplicates it. It's, <laughs> a, <laughs> it's a fun thing, this thing of ours, right? You know, what's funny uh, is that I always wonder. Hey, let me tell you, you know, our friend, not pleased. Oh. Yeah. You know, big man. B Bill. Um, who? Bill Bill Board. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me see your belly he, button. <laughs> he used to Let me see your belly button. God damn it, you man. talk about Bill Board like that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. <laughs> oh, my mother. Call back to another podcast. <laughs> I just wanted to see it. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. I'd heard so many All stories. Right. <laughs> Fuck you, Mafia germs. No, it's me. Mafia perfect. <laughs> mafia perfect. No, get out of here. Yeah, no, I'm in the mafia, but I'm also a pervert. <laughs> I like to see other people's body parts. Tastefully. Oh, tastefully. Okay. Come on. Right. Don't be a fucking uh Fanilioli. <laughs> Sorry. I, uh, what? I actually hey, I that. make up names, too. I make up Italian words. It's a thing for me. It's a thing. How do you make up a Don't word? Don't be a little uh, 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 dingly do. Huh? <laughs> so, That's the, Italian. The for moment you make up, up word. a word, it yeah. becomes a, Italian. Well, if you're going to be a poodly <laughs> get the about it, you know, maybe. <laughs> that's the, the that's the word for overdoing the bit. 
<laughs> Show me your butthole. <laughs> Getting back to the initial premise. I'm, I'm, I'm the mafia gonna, pervert. I'm not going to beat this. <laughs> All right, Brian, your answer, Ray, the Godfather part three was an Oscar. And we were looking for it. was an Oscar. That's a point for Brian. Hey. They got worst Wait. supporting actress and worst new star. Wait. Yeah, an Oscar. literally, you just said the opposite of what you intended no, to he say. I said an Oscar. He, he said Oscar. An Oscar. Got it. Okay. No, he All said right. not an Oscar. Oh, yeah. you said not an Oscar. I have, I have no oh, memory you, you of what I wrote it down. Said. <laughs> Sorry, we got lost in the mafia pervert. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a point for Brian. Hey! hey! Justin, we're going to go to you for this one. Oh. Christ. <laughs> so, sorry. Your movie. Yep. Thimble Unai. Yeah, What's man? the hint? Uh, the synopsis. This classic retelling of the Hans Christian Andersen classic fairy tale has been has the digit-sized heroine evading the clutches of various toads, moles, and beetles. Yeah, no, I... Thimbalina? No, no, no. I, I, I think it's Cool Runnings. <laughs> With John Not Candy. Not doing that improv. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, a bunch of Jamaicans, they don't know how to bobsled. Hey, I'm John Candy. <laughs> I'm yeah. a big Canadian. Yep. Dead before my time. Oh, God. Wow. Was he not? No. Okay. But yes, it, he was. He was dead down. way too early. Yeah, but I forget how everyone else sounded. <laughs> you don't remember anything about this movie, huh? Yeah. What? What else do you remember about the movie? Oh yeah. Uh. uh <clears throat> oh, we're gonna stop it. No. <laughs> Cut it. No. Good wrong. Okay. Uh. 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 Thumbelina won an Oscar. Sure. All right. It was Thumbelina. Let's see if it got the Oscar or not. It got the Razzie. Oh, no. Our worst original song. Now you have to do an impression of all the rest of the cast of Cool Runnings. <laughs> That's a new rule that Bryce just made up because it keeps changing all of the rules on us. <laughs> just give us one. How about one what? Eddie? One what? Yeah, just a classic line from Eddie. You know, from Cool Runnings. What did he sound like? Eddie, the movie where Whoopi Goldberg gets to be the coach of the New oh, York no, Knicks. Oh, no, I'm talking about Cool Runnings, the one about the No, but you, then you side. talked about Eddie, the one where Whoopi Goldberg gets to become the coach <laughs> of the I'm New York I'm talking about the character. Well, I mean, if you want to, you know what? We'll take whatever gifts you have, my friend. So we all no. know that you're choosing. No. <laughs> I conscientiously object. Yeah. Well, boy, mate, you're a real cut. Okay. <laughs> all right. That was a line from Kangaroo Jack. I remember Jerry O'Connell saying that. <laughs> all right, uh, Brian, we're going to go to you for the very last round. And uh, before yeah, we do that, what's the score? Smart. The right. score, surprisingly... <laughs> Is Justin has one point. Brian, for some reason, has two points. Hey, look at that. Hey. Hey. All right. Well, Brian, this is a, a, a very vital final round here. I'm going to give you the title, and this is worth two big points. You can either earn those points or lose them and lose the game to Justin, depending on how you do on this question good, right I haven't answered these for shit, and you've been really good at them. But if you fuck up now, you ruin everything. A lot of stakes. The kind of stakes that would be in a movie. A movie that could win an Oscar. Or an Oscar. Stakes. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? You don't even need to speak. It's Sandra Bullock, and she won both. Fuck. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Uh, man, I was. I don't know how to answer. Okay. Uh, you said both, which I guess is not an illegal answer. No, give them the thing. <laughs> okay. Your scrambled word: the condos glamps. The condos. Figure that one out, dick. Glamps. <laughs> Okay, all right. In a parallel universe, young Lyra Bellacqua journeys to the far north to save her best friend and other kidnapped children from terrible experiments by a mysterious organization. The Condos Glamps. This is for the game. Talk it out. In fact, I'm going to tell you, I gave you the. The is where it's supposed to be. I gave you the. The, oh, okay, so the. The, the Condos Glamps. The uh, 
Br Brett. I, oh no! I pray to you. No, 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 no. To help. <laughs> nope. Brett. No, sir. Brett. Absolutely. I know not. I've never believed in you before. You still don't. But <laughs> I need your help right now. Sure. I, my arms are clasped. I'm on the top of a, I don't know, a cliff. <laughs> um, Brett, please tell me the answer. It's. Why the condos glamps? You don't need to know the movie. I do need an answer of Oscar or Noscar, though. There you go. Uh, go with that. An Oscar. What? Wait, wait. What's what's the? Oh, what? No. Oh, now he's here. What's the description? <laughs> in? <laughs> I gotta remember to pee before the main show. <laughs> Why are you doing it in the middle of the show? Because I come into the, the pre-show and then glamps you, motherfucker. No, I know, but what's the description of the movie? Yeah, it's called a movie where the condos have glamps. <laughs> I would, I, to be honest, you shouldn't have been in the bathroom. We're doing the pot. I explained it. If I'm just going to waste everybody's time, if I re in a parallel universe, long, young Lyra Bellacroix journeys to the far north to save her best friends and other kidnapped children from a terrible experiment by a mysterious organization, the Condos, the Lamps. Brian, the game is on your hands. The line is on I your I think it's the Golden Compass. <laughs> I mean, you can nod. You're in control you here, bro. No, uh, I, I'm going to say did not win an Oscar. It was, it was Oscar. very big, big hype. Disappointment. It was supposed it to was be the new Harry Potter. Disappointment. Yes, it was, but it might have won for like, boy, they sewed those vests. <sighs> oh, have you seen the stitching on the vests? My God, amazing vests. They're breathtaking the vests. <laughs> Best vests. Oh, the best vests I've ever seen. Okay. Nope. Yeah. I'm nope. voting. I'm voting for the Oscars, and I do believe these vests have never been better. Real quick, Justin. Everybody who votes for the Oscars sounds like C3PO. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, I voted for One Flew Over the Cuckoo's no. Nest. Did oh, so many years <laughs> ago. And yeah. maybe a few times after, don't tell. <laughs> uh, Justin. Yes. Is this movie... So uh, many characters for me this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Am I overdoing it? I don't know. <laughs> Answer me one question. Oh, sure. <laughs> uh, is this movie about how important it is to be an actor in Los Angeles? No, it's weirdly about atheism, which probably factored into the fact that it didn't take off with a larger audience. Uh, you know what? That's an Oscar. All right, you're going to say it did not get the Oscar. We were, of course, looking for the Golden Compass. You uh, nailed that. For two you. points and the game, it is an Oscar. That is hey! no point. That is a Justin Robert Young win. Yeah. Fuck atheist West Coast liberal elites. Fuck the whole machine. Of course, fucking. LA. LA wanted to make a fucking atheist Harry Potter happen so goddamn bad. They did it twice. <laughs> they did it on HBO later and it fucked up then too. Yeah. Oh, that's right. It was yeah. good though. I don't know. I didn't read the book. Uh, yeah. I watched it. If yeah. it was so good, I'd watch it. Uh, thank you to Tom Tom four four six eight who sent this in. Thank I'll you tell you what. A a any anything that said, "Hey, Lin Manuel Miranda, don't write music, just act." I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair point. Right. Fair point. Thank you to Tom Tom for this. If you've got an idea for a game, send it into our email address, greatnightpod at gmail .com, or check the show notes wherever you're enjoying this fine program. That's where you can find it. Join our Discord. Uh, greatnight.tv slash discord, I believe, is all of that. Get in on uh, everything, especially when we uh, sometimes we work out some of the, the games in the discord. So uh, sometimes we work, work them out during the show. Uh, hey, uh, I didn't give you any tricky ones. You know all what I'm going to say about that original Hamilton recording on Disney Plus is it looks like a fucking make a wish video. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. There's a lot of professionals and then the guy who wrote. Wow. Oh, get an ass. Oh. Get an ass. All right, oh, okay, you. serious. Wow, we're taking him seriously. Yeah. Not, okay. Not funny? Not funny. <laughs> Not funny. Wow. You know what? No, I, I, I stand <laughs> beside you. You'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> Shots fired, and I'm not going to miss. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, 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 
That was a great game, Bryce. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. And thank you to Tom. Thank you for Tom, being fair and not doing weird shit like changing the rules midway through the game. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. That's, you know, that's one of my rules. Don't change the rules mid game. <laughs> don't, don't create too many improv characters for <laughs> my partner to do. Don't, don't let the hosts just ramble off into the weeds. Kind of just stop them uh, inelegantly, but we need to do it. It's a reality. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you. Brett, what did we learn? What did we learn? We've learned three things, Brian. First of all, first of all, chub chub. All right, first. Chub chub. Chub chub. A chub chub to you. A chub chub. A chub chub to you, Brian. Hey, everybody. Chub chub. Chub chub. Chub chub. Wait, hold on, hold on. I know. Let's be serious about this, man. I know. I know. I had some strong words. Hey, Bryce. Yeah. Chub chub. Chub chub. chub 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 hey chub hey chub chub man chub yep. chub hey chub chub to you uh second of all and i realize my wife only my wife may understand what i'm saying when i go some anyway and number yeah she's three. the only one who knows okay. we knew that was a reference to the guy who died yep yeah smash mouth and, yeah yeah and most Steve importantly Harwell. yeah most importantly guys some come came no. out of my dick no all most over i ate the cleanest person in the shed hurling burling hold on hold on hold on this motherfucker's spitting i was oh looking kind of dumb while i was shooting cum in the shape of an L on her forehead. <laughs> and well, the cum starts coming in. It does this. Come, come, come. come. <laughs> wow. Didn't make sense. <laughs> Brain gets Brain get smart. <laughs> <laughs> so much to do. Backstreet. Back <laughs> With a what though? <laughs> you never <laughs> shot him. Don't out. blow. <laughs> All right. <sighs> anyway, that was a that, jerk that's off it. joke. Exactly. Yep. That's right, what I was it. saying. <sighs> <sighs> and oh, and also, Herlin Burler Curter has a lovely earth said Burz Lerman. Facts. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, Brian. <laughs> This has been the crispest episode of this show. <laughs> Not an ounce of fat on it. I gotta say, shine on you, crazy diamond. I'll see you next Tuesday. You fucking... <laughs> it's been a great night. <laughs> oh my god. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>